Okay, guys, I want to take a look at this thing that I bought here recently. Its uh, brand name is by Dr. Prepare. It's their boot dryer, shoe dryer, glove dryer, and boot warmer. And um, it uh, is small and compact. I have a larger unit, not by this company, but I have a larger one for my motorcycle boots. And I wanted something small and more compact. So I decided to give this thing a try. Now this is the uh, model number from Dr. Prepare. It is a DTDS-150W-0N1. And these are approximately $35 depending on where you buy them. Now the specifications on this is the voltage is 110, 50 hertz. The power, 150 watts. Temperature range is between 104 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this is the box they come in. And on the back, they actually show this unit, which has the dial knob, which I don't have. Mine's the digital, which is shown on the front, which I thought was interesting. And uh, I'm wondering if that is an older model. I don't know. But I did see some reviews that stated that it wouldn't hold their shoes. That uh, for some reason, this arm kept coming down so I don't know if that was an older model that model but this particular one will not have that issue and I'll show you let's just take a general look of it on the outside now this thing folds up which is real nice it's small and compact you can take this with you if you're traveling that's one thing I wanted it that it was nice and small So this thing folds open and it has a click stop there at this point it cannot go down we have one more there and this is the last one full open now this is what I was talking about where it cannot come forward because it's got this uh, step in here on this arm and you push down on this and that's what allows it to close and if you're on one of the other steps as like here it can't so a heavy shoe is no issue now these two arms also come out and retract and they lock in place So you'll see here, there's a little tab right there. So again, if you put something heavy up here, your shoe, not only will it not fold on you, these will not fold, these will not go down. You have to push in just like that. Now the heat comes out the front, the sides, and also right there. So let's turn this on and the first thing is if we want to set the time you want to go here to the plus you'll push that it defaults to 25 okay and if you don't do anything after that it goes to the OF so 25 and it goes up to 99 so you can have something for 99 minutes with this heat running. So again, if we turn it on, we've got 25. Now you can hit the down button on the other side for less time. So let's just go to one minute here, which obviously is the least amount of time you can have. And then i got to hit the red button right away, the start button, the heat button right there. Because if I don't, then it will shut off, as you saw before, that the actual timer will go back. So you have to hit that right away. 
Now, with this on, at any time, you could unplug it, or you can just hit the red button up here, the, the timer button, and just like that, it shuts off. Now, this has another feature here with the uh, timer button over here, which I'm not going to go through, but what it would do, it would allow you to set an activation timer, a maximum of 24 hours, uh, so that the shoe dryer will automatically start working when the activation timer expires, and then will stop working when the dryer timer expires. So you could actually have it start at a point down the road, not immediately, and then once that timer uh, counted down, it will then start drying whatever item you had and then when that drying timer stops the unit stops and it comes with a little pamphlet here and directions and it shows anything you would need to know even has a schematic that's interesting I haven't seen one of those in a long time for the wiring diagram here you see these very heavy work boots on this dryer doesn't affect a thing they stay right on there that locking mechanism works great you can use this to dry your winter knit caps here we see two types of winter gloves These are a bit lighter than the other ones. Now here you can see I've put this hood across both of those arms. And this also works excellent with hard hat liners. So what I've done here, this is one pair of work gloves that I like to use and I've completely soaked both pairs and then wrung them out so what I'm gonna do is see what 20 minutes does I've got the arm extended and we'll go down to say 20 minutes and we'll see how those get dry in that time period So we should be coming up real close to the end of this 20 minute period. Okay, just shut off. Let me unplug it. Now let's see how these are. Well, I gotta tell you, the insides, the tips of the fingers obviously are still wet. The inside on the body seems dry, but the outside is still wet. Now, again, I soaked these. These were soaked. So they're a whole lot better. I would say, just judging from this, you're probably going to need probably double the time that we're using here. Now, I've used these uh, for my shoes when they were damp, and it's worked great. Okay, I did another 20 minutes. It just shut off. Let's see what these look like. Let me unplug it. Much better. The outside, this leather is still is still damp. The insides are pretty good. Now the thumb is still wet. So something like this, the inside, I would call it pretty good. The thumb area here is still damp on the inside. But as far as the outside is damp, but the inside feels pretty good. Let's take a look at the other one. Now this one, for some reason, is much better than this one. Um, 
still we still have the thumb area here that is damp on the inside but everything else is pretty good the outside feels damp but the inside isn't this small boot and shoe dryer it works very well I like the fact that it's compact and uh, everything folds up like I said I have a large one from another so another company that doesn't fold up and it's large and it and you can use it for uh, large boots and uh, I use them for my motorcycle boots and uh, so if you're looking for something small compact this thing is real nice